Hi there everyone, it's me the Romanian Regent and welcome to Age of Imperialism. As you can see the world is a bit different. So what happened is that instead of having a World War 1, you had a couple of wars, like for example the one between only the German Empire and France, which resulted in the consultation of power between the Russian Empire, which I have to say is absolutely massive, the German Empire, which also gained quite a few colonies around the world, and the mother of all empires, the United Kingdom, which rules a hell of a lot of land. I noticed that they even have to bet. I'm going into this blindly. And today we are going to be playing as Austria. And just to be clear, I have absolutely no idea about the... Okay, I have an idea that for example Germany goes to war with France and so on and maybe with Russia but that's it, I, I don't know anything else. And you know what? And welcome to Europe. As you can see the Austrian Empire is in a bit of a period of decline and dissolution. Let's see what we have over here. The reason we don't have Galicia over here in Poland is because we fought a separate war with the Russians and they kind of kicked our asses. Alright, so we are the sick men of Europe after, you know, the Ottomans have already been dead for a few decades. We are pretty dependent on German capital. Alright, so we cannot access our focus tree yet, um, but we can reform our army. The good thing is that, um, yeah, the good thing is that at least the world economy is booming and I'm absolutely sure that the current boom that we are experiencing is not at all a bubble that is just waiting to burst. I'm absolutely sure of that. And we only have 12 factories, that is quite pathetic. It looks like we also gave a lot of autonomy to our, to these guys over here. And we also have, uh, access to a lot uh, of, um, very interesting stuff. Okay. Look at this, soldiers, uniforms, special equipment for support companies, like just really interesting stuff. For now, just the you. Oh, right, I, I forgot about that. We are not in 1936, we are in 1931. Oh, that that's interesting. I'm curious how that affects the game, the fact that we are one year behind. The fact that we are five years behind where we would normally be. And our army is a uh, shit. That's the best way to put it, it's a uh, garbage. I've n I have literally no idea what I'm doing, this is my first time, so I hope I won't die horribly. Oh, wait, 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 I want to know something, do we have a navy? Yes, we have a navy, it's, wait, can we put Horty? Oh, I hope, I hope that Horty was like a general, like an admiral I could put in charge, that, that is a missed opportunity. If any of the devs are watching, please do that, that would be so good. Maybe not historical, but certainly funny. Alright, let's go. Even though, even though things have, even though our emperor has been meddled in a crisis for the last few years, I'm sure it'll all go well. Let me read this. All right, so 20 years ago we went to war with the Ser we went to war with the Serbs. The Germans uh, retreated their guarantees and support for us. The Russians joined in, took Galicia, kicked our teeth in, forced us to give independence to all of these um, other populations in our empire, and humiliated us. And yeah, there's also some random war veteran, I know it's like Adolf or something, I, I don't know, that uh, apparently has formed some kind of nationalist party, <laughs> whatever. We have bigger stuff to worry about. Anyway, we will move on and, re and recreate our empire. Our industry is absolutely terrible by the way, I would just like to point that out. Ooh, that's interesting, what is this? This is different. Central planned economy, so less consumer goods, more factory construction output, statism, interventionism, laissez-faire. Ah, huh. this is interesting. Free market consumer goods. Oh, so if I go free market, it does. It also gives me less consumer goods. I like that. Autarky. Huh. That I like that. Total and Krieg. That's free. Okay, so they change how much um, manpower you can get. So they. For example, Russia doesn't just have 40 million people ready to go into the field. What is e equal among equals? What is this? New man, traditionalism, Kulturkampf. Oh, so I guess it's how inclusive we are with other peoples. I'm sure, you know what? I'm optimistic. I'm sure everything will be fine. I'm sure we will do well. Let's continue reforming. Let's, let's modernize our equipment. I'm sure if we work together, we will be able to do this. Let's get our superiority. And mobile warfare. 
Oh, and Charlie Chaplin is heavy, has made quite a good show. That's interesting. Let's put Carl Renner in charge, the popular figurehead, for more bonuses. Oh my god, and there's so much stuff we can select from. Look at this, this is insane. Oh, I'm already falling in love with this mod. I'm currently looking for political power, please. I would really like that. Johan Kopje Koplianig. Are you sure that's... <laughs> Are you sure that's not Fidel Castro or something that came from the future? What, who is that? Ludwig von Mises. That, um, my dude, that is Gigiche. <laughs> and, uh, this is Joe Biden. <laughs> alright, 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 I get it. Let's just get Franz Werfel, the commercial interest, for the commercial interest for the political power and consumer, and, uh, consumer goods production. Ooh, neutrality, real politics. Expansionism, jingoism. I like this. And re and let's continue modernizing our equipment, our support equipment in this case. Let's try to standardize our army a bit. Okay, let's try to do that. That sounds like a good idea. Let's get ourselves an infantry expert. I think. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Uh, what? What is this? The bank? The crisis of the banking sector? Uh oh. I think our our banking sector sector just collapsed. Screw you Germany and your monopolistic companies, I'm I'm gonna end you. And a Spanish a Spanish civil war? Huh. Okay, so I think the Americans just suffered suffered the dust bowl again and um, their culture failed. And and Kreditstand and Kreditstand Bank has gone bankrupt, our biggest bank by far. Alright, so we are unable to pay our debts, they are just rising and um, the Germans and their, again their monopolistic companies refuse to help us. So I'll have to take things into my own hands to protect the Austrian people. We will cease to pay the debt. You can go f screw yourself Germany. Oh, I lose minus 400 political power, oh god. France is refusing is refusing to pay its debts and it has just remilitarized Champagne and God. Oh God! So the Ita so the Italian king uh, came to um, discuss with our Kaiser, and there was an assassination attempt on both of them. Um, our Kaiser survived, but uh, the Italian king was not that lucky. Yup, and there he goes. Sucks to be you, buddy. Black Friday, the world we know. Is, fail is falling apart and we can no longer stop it. Oh, so it was a chain reaction. The collapse of our Austrian banks led to the collapse of the... Um, of the so the collapse of the Austrian banks led as a chain reaction to the collapse of the British banks, which in turn affected the entirety of the world. No interference in government affairs is allowed. The king will not interfere with the government. And another French government collapses, the fifth one, the fifth times the charm, right? I think they're just coping, nobody says that. <laughs> oh god, everything is horrible. NSAP becomes ruling party. <gasps> it, is, uh, it is Adolf Hitler. It is the hero of our time. He will bring glory back to Austria. He will restore Austria back to its glory and get back its rightful lands in Galicia and southern Croatia. And he will get back Austria's rightful lands in Galicia and Bosnia. He will forever be remembered as one of the great men of history. Oh, and look at that. We can get 10 off-map civilian factories and 6 off-map military factories. That's interesting. German companies that just went bankrupt, I will uh, take these uh, for myself. Thank you very much. Austria's new Führer, Sieg Heil. Oh, and Kaiser Wilhelm man maintained control. Interesting. And we are actually integr integralists. Let's get the bank. Let's get a bank president. And Putin is in charge. Putin time. Reactionism. Ooh, I really like it. Let's get the well-connected businessman for less consumer goods, because you know I like to stack those bonuses to consumer goods reduction. Boycott the German company. Alright, let's find, let's nip this economic crisis in the bud and stabilize the situation. Sure, let's co let's collaborate with the Italians, sure. The tripartite 
what is this? So we stand, oh, we stand with friends, Italy, and, um, well, ourselves against, I guess, the Reich Pact over here. Huh, interesting. Oh, and Tsar Nicholas is dead, and Poland is independent and integralist. Oh, oh, things are getting spicy. Alright, now that we stabilize it, let's see what we can do. As we have seen in the recent months, the free market is a viper that is spewing poison in our economy. And we as the government are obligated to intervene in the economy to stop this madness. And for that we will and for that we will create large state-run corporations. And the conservatives have taken power in Japan. Minus 500 political power. This is worse than Kaiserreich, I swear. We are also gonna try to get some medium tanks. I have no idea whether I have even slightly the resources I need for that. Finally, we have chosen economic strategy that will not be changed after just 3 days like it normally would. And our entrepreneurs can finally adapt to it. Wait, what? The Kingdom of Spain is... Why is Portugal involved in this? Whatever. No, I'm no, not gonna look. Let's boost our civilian economy. And another research slot. And now that we have dealt with our economy, now that the economy is in order, Adolf Hitler will set off to reorganize the Danubian state. Right, uh, this is the tank that I would like to produce. It's uh, cheap, it is good, it has uh, a lot of armor, harness, and it's just a really good tank in general. And yeah, I, d I didn't forget to put auto upgrade on so that I don't have to worry about this not being upgraded properly. What do you think of my infantry division? Do you like it? I just, it's just a bit cancerous. Ooh, since we are part of the tripartite, 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 let me say that correctly, we can join the European Economic Community for some bonuses. I'll do that. You know what, let's also join the Academ the Academic um, Alliance of Nations. And we will achieve the dream of the Danube people. Or the Danube folk, if you want. And we will get rid of the sick men of Europe spirit. Bringing a new era of hope to the people of Danubia. More earthquakes. And even more earthquakes? What is earthquakes? What is this? Yeah, let's uh, start producing some of these things. Now let's save our empire. Let's boost our war industry. Let's work on the northern Slavs in Czechia. And look at that, we can get 1934 medium tanks. Let's get a new stock, stock exchange in Prague. Then that's so many factories, God. And now that we have relocated the Sudetenland speaking Germans, we have reconciled the problems with the Bohemians. Let's reconcile with the southern Slavs. Oh, and we integrated the Czechs, oh god. And I'm working on making a tank division over here. Yeah, and let's also get rid of the Ustasha. It's been spilling bad blood between our peoples for too long. And we have integrated the Southern Slavs. Let's deal with our Hungarian brothers. Let's try and get some of these tank divisions out here in the field. And look at our glorious fighter. 450 soft attack, yeah, this is a very good tank division. Oh, hmm, we might go to war with the Reichspakt and the Russian fac faction, the Soyuzniki. And now we will reconsolidate with the Hungarians and Slovaks. And we integrated Hungary. And now we can proclaim the formation of the Danubian Federation. And now we are the Danubian Federation, united and strong together. Now let's move on to reforming our army again. Oh, and um, it seems like the Reichspakt is extending quite a bit into the Netherlands and into Argentina. Argentina? They, have a f they do have quite a few divisions, so that's worrying. That is a worrying development. Romania joins the Einheitspakt. Oh, uh, sorry, I was thinking, you know, the Reichspakt, I mean. Let's put two divisions on uh, the Romanian two armies on the Romanian border, just in case they get any ideas. And let's train up our armies. Let's prepare for Totalenkrieg. And we are also going to start producing some cast. Wait, what? Oh, wait, we are at war with the Germans. The Germans, join. All right, you'll need to cut this line short, a bit shorter. Yeah, we'll need to shorten this front line in Poland. This is it, boys, this is it. All right, all right, we are holding, we are holding. Alright, the front has stabilized more or less. 
Just move a couple of divisions around, then it's stabilized. Also, I will mobilize my air force. We need more refineries, way more refineries. Can? Huh. Alright, I will send my tanks to move on Romania. I'm sorry, but you're on the wrong side, buddy. I heard a naval invasion sound from where? Baltic Sea. What? Oh, they're trying to naval invade. I think we should be able to push through the Romanian front? I don't know, let's see. Yes, I think we can. Alright, stop. Alright, stop attacking, stop attacking. Let's try with the tanks. Let's break Romania and drive with my tanks to Bucharest. And Romania capitulated. I think I have... I think I will attack the... Um, Yugoslavs because... I will attack the Yugoslavs because I do not want them as a threat over here. But before that happens, I will try and shorten the front with uh, the Germans by cutting off Prussia. Let's also mechanize our tanks to make them even better. Alright, let's attack. Speed 4. You know, it's, you know it gets serious when I'm using speed 4. Alright, cycle these battles a bit. Send in the fresh tank divisions. Bring in the rest. Right, I'm bringing some troops to help uh, close this encirclement in Prussia, which isn't an encirclement yet. We'll go on a careful offensive. Right, we will need to try and close this encirclement. Oh yeah, and let's also bring our the bit of cast that we have over here to try and help. Let's get centralized control, better ability to fight in the air. Also deploy more troops to the eastern front. I'm opening, I'm opening up another front. Alright, we close this. Now. Let's get armor spearheads. Right, we we drastically shortened the front. There's still some time until the justification on Yugoslavia is over, so I'm going to try and get another encirclement here. Right, let's try and break through. And we got ourselves advanced medium. Alright, that encirclement was made. Let's declare a preemptive a preemptive strike on the kingdom of Yugoslavia. And we need to go aggressive to close this quickly. And this is like 40 divisions over here. Let's call everyone in. There you go. I have just I have opened just a few more fronts. Let's take Belgrade. I'm sorry, what? Yeah, we capture Belgrade. Alright, alright. So let's see. 2.6 million casualties on our side, 2 million the part of the Reich Pact, and a hundred thousand so far for the Russian faction. We suffer 300,000 so far. Right, making a offensive into Yugoslavia like this. There you go, another small encirclement. And let's drive them out with our tanks. Yep, advance from all angles. And Yugoslavia capitulated. Yep, this is our tank, look at it. It's beautiful. Now let's send our tanks back to the German front. Yeah, I'll just tell these guys to garrison the, my ports. And Berlin has fallen. Come on, flood this, flood this. Yep, and let's just close this encirclement. The Germans are slowly falling apart. Right, I'll just tell my tanks to go into Germany. Boom. Oh, it's not going good at first, but it's getting better. Look at this, they have 104 armor. They're not being pierced by anyone. And we can deploy another 4 divisions. We'll push straight into Amsterdam. Let's capitulate the Dutch. Even without fuel, this tank is still pushing. That's how badass it is. And there goes Denmark. Let's also go and capitulate Sweden. Or Schweden, if you want to be more German. Germany is not looking too good at this point. I'll be honest with you. Alright, let's also give um, medals to our guys. Let's see what you can get. Let's get the vision breakthrough on these guys. Come on, Sweden, capitulate. Alright, let's see how a frontal uh, assault would go. Full offensive on the Germans. And you know what, I'll, I will put all of my cast on that, to help that offensive go. And Sweden capitulated finally. Let's go aggressive. We are doing quite a bit of cast damage. Kingdom of Netherlands capitulated just now, okay. And Germany capitulates. We will try to puppet Romania. And we will try taking Silesia and uh, the south of Germany. We will sell like Denmark, sure. We will make ourselves some pop. Let's also try and take some of the um, German navy. Alright, let's see how this peace deal went out. And there you go. We annexed the German Empire and we got ourselves a few puppets around the world. There you go. A few, just a few puppets. And now only Russia remains. Faced with a massive Western coalition. And there you go, we took all of these ships from the Germans. Let's also make some transport planes for the supply. 
I'm curious how it would look if I went on a full offensive. Eh, doesn't really work. Right, let's start making some encirclements. Right, let's cut this encirclement. Right, let's see how many casualties this causes. Wow, the Russians suffered 5 million casualties, god. Alright, then we'll just go full offensive. Oh, look at that, my, my Afghanistani puppet is actually pushing back the Russians here. Alright, I'm just stomping the Russians right now, I'm just destroying them. I killed 2.4 million Russians so far, and I'm advancing quickly everywhere. You're not even taking that many casualties, honestly. It's good. Yep, I think I'm just gonna relax right now. There you go, we got ourselves a pretty big Russian puppet. And we are at war with Ethiopia? Why Ethiopia? Let's leave the tripod. Let's go to where is it? Let's find. Let's just kill Ethiopia and be done with this. Although look at this, due to Hitler, now the world is a peaceful and stable place. Now let's just get some of our tanks in here and um, kill Ethiopia. Two to three million manpower. Yeah. Okay. Right. Let's just try and get a puppet. Empire of Ethiopia under our rule. Now that we are at peace, let's leave this faction. Oh, I also forgot I have 15 railway guns. Yeah, I should probably get to spreading these out. Alright, so let's lower Russia into an... Yeah, we made Russia into an integrated... Um, call, into an integrated puppet. This means that now we have access to 213 military factories. Yeah, this is pretty good. How the hell does Afghanistan have 60 factories? That seems a bit uh, broken, unbalanced, I don't know what you call it, but certainly not right. Let's just go on the border of France. Alright, let's just declare war and see what happens. Come on, Poland, join. Alright, we're rolling, we're steamrolling Poland. We are not calling in our puppets. The, and we have captured Paris. Right, let's shift our air force. Look at all this damage we are doing to them. Oh my god, 3 to 30, 3 to 45, it's insane. You are just ripping them apart. 700,000 casualties from us, 200,000, 200,000. Okay, so we didn't inflict the majority of the casualties, but a good part. Alright, France is gone. Yep, I'll just tell my tanks to go and occupy Italy. Alright, that is Italy, and call in my puppet uh, Russia to fight uh, the po to capitulate the Polish. Alright, that's a peace deal. So first I will give Russia this land so the borders don't look literally like garbage. And now uh, and not I'll just give Finland to Russia so it looks prettier. Let's annex Luxembourg and uh, the low countries for ourselves. I also took some of their navies so I have a, a pretty big navy I would say. 25 days to justify. 525 ships, yeah that's definitely enough for a naval invasion. Right, so declare war and just go. Seven ca seven planes lost to 200, that is um, that is something else. We are just ripping through the British. Oh, I accidentally gave uh, Poland all this land in Africa and this part of Sweden. So I guess they did eventually somehow get their colonial empire. Alright, let's call in Poland into this war, call to arms, and invade South Africa, the last major Romania. Alright, that's a peace deal, let's deal with it. I'm sorry, what? Rus did Japan just declared war on our Russian puppet? You idiot just killed yourself. I, w I, was, I was planning to go after the United States, not you yet. But now you just screwed it up. Why would you kill yourself like that? Why? There you go, the Americans just gave me docking rights. Screw you. Good luck trying to march through Siberia, fucker. I'll see you in Tokyo. 
Alright, so this is our infantry division. They just modified it a bit, added more artillery, more rocket artillery. Yep, this is our god tier division. They declare war on the protectorate of Mongolia. Why? Why? What do you think you're gonna achieve with this body? You're not gonna achieve anything, honestly. What do you think is gonna happen? Guess where my navy is going? Bam! Bam, I'm just going over here. By the time that Japan would get, let's say, here, I would have already taken all of their countries, so... Yeah, Japan just killed themselves. Sorry, they just killed themselves. 230 armor on this modern tank chassis. Yep, this um, me, this uh, modern tank is kind of stupid and really expensive, but I like it. Ooh, and look at that. Now we can expand the Danubian Federation and we can core these provinces. Alright, so this naval invasion failed, but we can try again. Alright, this time let's do a bigger naval invasion to teach the Japanese that they should have just surrendered. 2000 breakthrough what jesus all right naval invasion launched off let's see how it goes you know what maybe you should just open another front in china to distract japan let's just do that right let's open another front in asia against the japanese right we are just steamrolling uh, japan's holding in china because they are stuck fucking around in asia or in siberia and my and my protectorate of Uyghurstan Yug, is somehow holding them off with 10 divisions. Yeah, already we are devastating the Japanese 600 600,000 casualties. If they're not going to leave the home islands, then I'm just going to take their empire outside of them. Oh, and we now have a Qing puppet with 25 million. I didn't even think about that. We don't even have to worry about resistance in this case. Oh wait, we can actually wait. We can get across that. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't even realize in this mode you can act you actually have the option to go through this canal. Right, let's just bring the navy to get across this strait. I'll tell my navy to patrol over here. One million casualties on our side and 2.5 million on the Japanese side. Jesus, that we all we've only been fighting for a couple of months. Like this is intense. Right, let's use our massive air force to bomb the Japanese navy into the ground. Right, let's try some naval invasions again. Alright, we have landed. Now let's deal with this in a proper manner. Let's push up uh, Japan. We made the Japanese suffer 2.9 million casualties, basically 3 million. I think they are trying to pull out some divisions, but it's too, a bit too late. I'm using these divisions, they're quite... um quite weird but i'm a really innovative guy you know i innovate right we capitulated japan and we got the most war score all right there you go we got ourselves a, a japanese puppet with most of its land anyway and the only major power remaining in the world are the united states of america and also brazil with oh my god a brazil with like two with 200 factories and an america with like 700 a lot of a lot of them anyway oh i just realized that we have holdings in south america like we have a lot of stuff we can use let's put these uh god tier divisions here in, uh, in america right let's prepare for a war with the usa all right we've got uh, access in the united states we can just do it like that let's also build up mexico's airports for the upcoming invasion. All right, and now let's uh, start the start just flying on the United States. Oh, we already build, we already built up those airports. Yep, we are a, a bit we are a bit overpowered at this point, just a bit. Oh, the United States declared war on us. That's interesting. That's an interesting development, right? Um, let's just uh, mobilize our air force here. Right, and we have total and utter air superiority, and we are destroying them and blowing them out of the water. Jesus Christ, finally the United States capitulated, for some reason they just would not capitulate whatsoever. They suffered 4.5 million casualties. Now let's focus on Brazil. And I just noticed something, just a second, 
Um, it seems like these areas of the Amazons are not accessible except for these small corridors in here. Yeah, the Amazons are... Uh, they're quite annoying to pass, true. Let me just tell my troops to get in place to invade Brazil. And let's call these guys in. Into the war, that is. And there you go, we capitulated them. Now, let's finally deal with this. And there you go. I puppeted the United States with... Huey Long, really? You, this bastard shows his face every single time in whatever mod you go in. Anyway, I also restored the Mexican Empire for to boost um, how many Mexicans view my empire. And what the hell is that flag? The Nubian Brazil. I'm sorry, what is what is that flag? Can any Brazilians tell me what the hell this means? Because I don't understand at all. That. Anyway, so look at that. We have restored the Austrian Empire to its glory and now we have finally united the Danubian people and we have reached our greatness. We have took revenge on the Russians, Italians and Yugoslavians for humiliating us. We took back our core states and now under, under the leadership of Adolf Hitler we shall move forward as one into a new era of prosperity and unity and now he can rest easily knowing that the brothers that fought alongside him that died did not give their lives up in vain. Auf Wiedersehen meine Freunde und hat einen schönen Tag. Hey there, if you like this video don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I put quite a lot of work into these videos and I hope you enjoyed. Bye.